it's going to burn and it's going to burn a really long time. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to show you three amazing first aid fire tricks. Stay tuned. One of the things that we carry in our pack, or at least we should carry in our pack, is a first aid kit of some kind. Now, most first aid kits that you buy in the store, they're pretty generic. And so I like to buy the, the kit and then I will take it all apart, get rid of everything I don't need, and then I will rebuild it based on my skill level and what I think I might need. And that will sometimes change on any given trip. Now, I do have a tourniquet, a cat tourniquet, attached to the outside of my backpack, so obviously that's not in here. It's for quick access if I need it. This is uh, more of a boo-boo kit. This is not something that you're going to use for any kind of extensive first aid, but generally what I find is if you're careful, you're not going to have major injuries. It's going to be cuts and scrapes and bruises, minor burns. You grab a hold of something hot, you know, and you need to take care of that. So, uh, this is usually sufficient, and so... It's a great thing to have along. I carry it with me. It's small, it's compact, doesn't take up much room. However, like most things in survival, it's ideal if our kit can have multiple functions. And so I've been experimenting and I came up with some great first aid items that you might not have thought of that will work really great to start a fire. So let's get to that right now. One of the items that I carry in my first aid kit and I find it super helpful are band-aids. Now I've heard people say you don't need band-aids. Uh, I think you do because again minor cuts and scrapes it helps keep bacteria and things out of those cuts. It's just a little bit better for you in the long run. However, one thing that you might not know is that this is a great fire starter. So you just take and light one end and if you've got marginal tinder or you've got a problem with something that uh, you can't get lit uh, this right here will do a great job for you and literally, usually it'll stay dry in your pack. Uh, you can put them in a plastic little Ziploc bag if you want, but it burns for quite a while and as you can see, it's a pretty decent fire starter. So something you might want to consider. Now it won't take a spark from a ferro rod, but again if you're trying to light marginal tinder with your lighter, etc., you can use that and it will do a pretty good job for you. The next fire starting trick from your first aid kit uses one of these gauze pads. And what you want to do, you want to open it up and you don't want to use the whole thing because again we're trying to think conservation of resources here, but we're going to tear off a decent bit. Now these are fairly difficult to light with a ferro rod. You can do it if you scrape it up pretty good. But what makes this burn well, we're going to use this aquaphor. Now this is for dry chapped lips, uh, it's dry chapped skin for minor burns, cuts, abrasions, things like that. But uh, again, the petrolatum in there is a big help and we'll just, just like you would with a cotton ball, petroleum jelly, we're going to put some of that on there. Now you can also get chapstick, many people know you can use chapstick as a fire extender and this also, this type does have petrolatum in it as well. Alright, now what we're going to do, we could, like I said, light this with a ferro rod if we scraped it up enough but at this point what we're going to do is we're just going to use a lighter just like we would normally just light it and it catches pretty well and with that extra on there it's going to burn real good it's going to give us a good flame and we're going to be able to help get our fire started and of course the more you put on it and the larger a piece the longer it will burn for you for our next trick, we're going to be using a piece of this moleskin. Now, moleskin is great to have with you. It's lightweight and it's got an adhesive on one side so you can stick it right on that hot spot you know, help prevent further injury and things like that. This is definitely something that you want even in a small kit this size because again, minor scrapes, cuts, injuries, blisters, those are the things you're generally going to deal with when you're out and about. Alright, so I've already got a piece of this cut and what you want to do is you want to peel up one side to find out where that is and where that stickiness is where you can get a hold of it and uh, you want to peel that open all right set that aside and then we're going to go down in here into our our pad that we had before and we're going to pull off another piece all right now 
as I said this does not light very well unless you scrape it up some so we're going to use our knife and we're going to scratch up some fluff on this padding all right now that we have that done we're going to take this corner that we opened up right here and we're going to take this fluff and we're going to stick it right under here to that adhesion just like so make sure that the fluffy side is definitely sticking out then we take our ferro rod and again just like you would a cotton ball I'm going to strike that and get that burning all right there we go now we have a little bit of a flame and let that catch as soon as we get that moleskin lit it's going to burn and it's going to burn a really long time so that's a really cool fire trick for you of course you could turn it up on edge if you want and allow it to feed a little quicker but I was really surprised at how well this moleskin takes fire and how long it burns you actually get several minutes of burn time out of something this size and uh, of course the faster you encourage it and the higher you lift it the more it's gonna burn it up but again great fire and a wonderful trick to know using some things from your first aid kit this is James Bender for Waypoint Survival if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also make sure and check out the links in the description box below and while you're down there, you'll also find our Patreon link. This is where you can donate to financially support the channel, and you can support us for as little as a dollar a month. Also, if you would like to support us in other ways, you'll also find our Spring link. This is where you can buy great Waypoint Survival branded merchandise. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos, and we'll talk to you next time. <laughs>